it's the anniversary of the death of Hugo Chavez, and it's probably the anniversary of the murder of Hugo Chavez. And I just wanted to share with you a tribute to him from someone else that I also admire, and that's Sheikh Imran Hussein. And I met the Sheikh just over a year ago, and he's a very learned scholar and someone I look up to greatly. So rest in peace, Hugo Chavez, and let's listen to Sheikh Imran Hussein. Let me take this opportunity to pay tribute to the memory of one who was my neighbor. I am from Trinidad and Tobago, and he was my neighbor in Venezuela. My brother, in Spanish, mi hermano, Hugo Chavez, who was a friend, a friend of Islam, a friend of Muslims. And as a consequence, we pray that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala might have mercy on his soul. His status in the Quran is for Yawfiru li man yasha wa yu'azibu man yasha. Forty years ago, when I was a student at university studying Latin American politics and economics, I was introduced to the Latin American statesman, one Domingo Alvarado, who wrote a very famous book entitled Sharks and Sardines. Sharks and Sardines. So many decades ago, Latin America was able to recognize what so many in the world of Islam today, our leaders still cannot recognize. I don't know where we get our leaders from, particularly in Bangladesh. Particularly in Bangladesh. That we live in a world order today which is comprised of sharks and sardines. And Hugo Chavez stood up courageously as a soldier, as a politician, and as a statesman to defy the sharks. And he did it so successfully that all of South America, all of Central America, except those who worship the sharks, are proud of him and now weep for him. He not only stood up to defy the sharks of the world, but he also stood up to support the sardines of the world. And how we wish that we could have leaders in the world of Islam who would follow in the heroic footsteps of Hugo Chavez. May Allah have mercy on his soul.